Howdy, welcome to the second day in DC. I need to start with a confession. I missed some stuff last week, some very important stuff that I wished I would have put in the video, but I didn't, and so, so the best thing to do is add it right now. I told you how we went to the Smithsonian. We actually went two Smithsonians before we went over to the Lincoln Memorial. One was a Museum of Natural History, and the second one was a Museum of American History. In the Museum of American History, the number one thing that everybody goes to look at is the Ruby Slippers, which we did make it there and saw them. So, for the, the second day, we are going to Arlington National Cemetery. Okay, to get to Arlington, we're going to have to do some transfers. And on our train map, you can see the red line crosses blue line and green lines, and they cross each other, and there's actually a big circle there, and those are what they call transfer stations. So you just basically get off your one train, you walk down to the other line, or you stand there and wait for the next train that is that other line to come through there, and you take it on to your destination. It wasn't very complicated. It just, you know, just follow the map. We got to Arlington, we had to walk a little ways to get into the cemetery. They have a tram system that takes you around the cemetery, stops at like four different locations. Arlington National Cemetery was established on May the 13th of 1864. It was at the end of the Civil War. They were needing a spot to bury all their dead. And Arlington at that time was owned by Robert E. Lee. So the government confiscated the land and made the cemetery. In 1882, the Supreme Court ruled that our government didn't quite do it right. So they basically ordered the government to return the land in the same shape that they took it, which was going to require to exhume about 17,000 graves. In 1883, the son of Robert E. Lee sold the land to the government for $150,000. Arlington has 624 acres. There is over 400,000 graves in Arlington and there is 25 funerals on average a day. That is gonna be one of the reasons why as I give you the shots that I shot when they're through there, I am not gonna put any music to it because it is a very, very solemn place and I think silence would be the best. A little information about the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It actually has the remains of approximately 5,000 individuals in this tomb that have been from the First War, the Second War, and the Korean War. 
and in 1984, the remains of one unknown soldier from Vietnam was added. In 1989, they took those Ramones back out of there and they actually did DNA testing on them. And it was discovered that they were the remains of a first lieutenant, Michael Joseph Basin. And then they were reinterned in a cemetery in Missouri. For that reason, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, due to science and DNA testing, there probably will not be any additions to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. After Arlington, we took the train back to the Metro Center, which is in the northeast corner of the White House. We walked around the White House. We weren't able to get uh, tours of it uh, due to if you want to get a tour of the White House or the Capitol, you have to go through your congressman. I guess I need to find another congressman because I wrote him a couple months ago and he just never returned my calls. To complete the day, we jumped back on the red line of the bus and took it over to the Jefferson Memorial. You don't hear as much about the Jefferson Memorial as many of the other monuments, but it is an amazing piece of architecture. And the most important thing was there was a t-shirt shop in the bottom of it, and we were able to get t-shirts for the grandkids. And it's very important to keep your grandkids happy. And that concludes our second day in D.C. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you next week. Thank you, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Comments down below. Hit the subscribe button and you'll make me happy.